Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael Zonke, and welcome to episode 4 of the Road to 1 Billion Slayer tab. So one thing that I've started doing is uh, I'm going to track the XP that I gain between episodes. So last episode I was at uh, 41 mil Slayer XP, and I'm now at 45 mil Slayer XP, so 4 mil XP gained between episodes. That not, might, might not sound like a lot, but I only get like 500k XP a day. Um, because I do a lot of other stuff in the day other than just Slayer. Um, so it's really hard to... I can't really know life at all day. Basically, I have a lot of other stuff I have to do, including working on videos, which takes a lot of time away from Slaying, but that's fine. I've also started tracking my daily XP, so so far today I'm at 800k XP, um, and that's including having a really crap warband, so that is not bad, considering all I've done today is, like, uh, PVM and Fire Make. Not really any Slayer, but I've been busy with stuff. Um, so yeah, that's not bad, because Siri is still very early in the day. Um, and uh, with a crap warband, still that much XP. So before we get into the tab and show you guys everything I got, um, I have to show you guys the individual loots. So I took screenshots of all the good drops that I got, and I'll show them here. Okay, so this is the, I guess, intro slide of um, the basic stats. I might add some more stats onto here once I can think of stuff to add. But uh, basically, 4 mil Slayer XP gained between this episode and last episode. And the previous tab net worth was 190 mil. Um, so I'll, I will also add, after this episode is over, um, how much I gained between episodes. So that will be nice to track as well. Um, so let's see how much we made in 4 mil Slayer XP. But first of all, the drops. Most of these are effigies, I will give you a warning. But this can also be a pretty nice way to track like how many effigies you can get uh, for slaying. So it wasn't a whole lot, just because effigies are pretty rare, but I got a few. So the first one was from uh, Griffalopines, and I can say I got four effigies and three Griffalopine tasks. Uh, this was the last of those four. But um, I really love this task. It only takes like five minutes, and it's very, very good XP. Uh, the next one is a Triskelion piece. This was my second Triskelion piece. Um, I didn't screenshot the first one because it was you know, before I started doing the loot for this episode. So I already had one in my bank. So this was the second one. And then later on in the same task, I got the third piece. So I made my Triskelion key. I didn't screenshot the loot because it was like 100k. I think it was the one of the worst possible loots you can get from a Triskelion key. It was really, really bad. Um, here's effigy number two from Eretz. And this is my first ever Eret effigy after like... Uh, 2,500 kills, I've still only had one effigy from them. I heard they are good effigies, but maybe not. Uh, third effigy, an another Griflopine effigy. This was a couple Griflopine tasks later, so I had, finally, a Griflopine task where I didn't get an effigy, and in the next Griflopine task, I got an effigy. So, yeah, I love these things. Um, effigy number four was from... Mutated Jadinko's great task. Uh, definitely mage here, though. I was meleeing at the time. That is a mistake. You want to be maging here. Uh, effigy number five was from Automatons. These are some of the best effigy droppers in the game. And uh, here is Leet tasks in a row, one, 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 three, three, seven tasks in a row. So I had to screenshot that, of course. That was quite an accomplishment. Uh, here's a Secundus key. This was my only keystone drop. I only had um, one task of Ascension Monsters during this Formula Slayer XP, and that was the key I got. And then effigy number six from Dark Beast. Um, these are pretty good FGs as well. FG number 7 was from QBD. That's not bad. And then uh, I did not screenshot the loot of the Visage, but here's my Adventures log, and you can see I got a Visage on there from the QBD. So that's my third Visage in the in the tab, and my um, my only QBD task in the last Formula Slayer XP, which was kind of upsetting, but I did get a Visage from it, so that's not bad. Okay, so it's time to open up the bank and see the Epic Drops tab. So here it is. And uh, almost everything in here is from Slayer. There's a couple things that aren't. For example, the Shards of Armadillo are not. And you might see I have 43 mil cash in here. Um, some of that is from Slayer, some of that is not. Uh, m most of that is from QBD, and also I sold all my Water Talismans during the bonus XP weekend. I got a lot of them from DKs, and I sold them during the bonus XP weekend for 25k each. Um, but uh, that's where mo some of this cash is from, and um, some of the rest is from a split that I got at a boss, which will be coming in a series that is starting tomorrow, so look out for that. But uh, some of that cash is actually from Slayer. And uh, everything else in here is from Slayer. I do have the one army little chain skirt, and that's pretty much the only good drop. Three Draconic Visages, the Abyssal Wand, I guess those are decent. Some hatchets. Um, so this is, I'm just going to be withdrawing this inventory by inventory, just doing a quick little you know, peek at each inventory and then price checking it and adding it all together and see how much we got. So here's our first inventory, 13 mil cash. Um, I think about 11 mil of that is from the Water Talismans. 
and the rest is from QBD. So the first inventory is 23.7 mil, not too bad. And we got the next inventory, some troll drops here, dragon meds, silver ore, adamant bolts, dragon daggers, those things are the bane of the rare drop table and just kind of are huge trolls, but this one is 17.5 mil, so this is probably going to be the worst inventory out of all of them, in my guess. Next inventory here doesn't look like there's anything that good, except for the 32 ceramic scales, that's quite a lot. Um, just about almost 19 mil there, and uh, yeah, that inventory is not much better than the last one, but still a little bit better. I have a feeling this inventory is going to be worth quite a lot. That is a lot of adamant bars, and that is a lot of rune ore, so that should add up to be a fair amount. And this one's 40.7 mil. I'm liking the looks of that. Hopefully this continues. Okay, so I tried to pick out stuff that wasn't worth quite as much so I can have an insane, super huge value final inventory. Um, so this one is, yeah, 6.5 mil. Again, I tried to pick out stuff that wasn't worth very much, so I kind of cheated a little bit. But anyway, that wasn't a very good inventory, but the next one should be a ton. All right, final inventory here, and don't say I didn't warn you if this is not worth a lot of money. So let's just check the drops really fast. 4,000 dragon bones, that is a lot. <laughs> 2,000 arid bones, 10,000 ganoderic flakes, three visages, four hatchets, uh, Ton of royal dragon hide, tons of magic logs, tons of blue dragon hide. I have been doing all the blue dragon ha dragon tasks, even though I know they're a huge waste of XP, but I just do them for the money, so this should be worth a ton. Uh, 148 mil, so I'm liking the looks of that. Uh, that is 18 million worth of dragon bones, that's quite a bit, and over 20 million worth of arid bones, because arids are by far the most common task I get from Kurdo, which is, which is something I'm not arguing with, because they're great money and great XP, so... Anyway, dragon hatchets are going down for some reason. Um, so that's about all for my Slayer tab. I'll add it all up and tell you a total value. Okay, so the final value of the Slayer tab is 256 mil. I didn't sell it or anything. I just withdrew this from my money pouch. But that's quite a bit. Um, we went up about 66 mil from last time. So 66 mil and 4 million Slayer XP is pretty good already if you think about it. But then another thing that you need to take in mind is I only had one Queen Black Dragon task that entire time, and it was only 46 of them, so not very great there. I did not do any God Wars dungeon, so no Zamrak task, no Armadil task. Um, I never had a Greater's task, and I just canceled my Aviancy's task because the internet was just too bad to go to God Wars dungeon. Um, and I also did not do any Dagonoth tasks for the same reason I didn't go to God Wars dungeon. The internet was just too bad. Um, so I have not been at home, I have been uh, away from home, and I've been in a place where the Wi-Fi is not very good. So I do not trust myself to go solo to places um, where death is a possibility. Death is a high possibility, and the loss of items is a high possibility if you um, tend to disconnect. So that's the reason why I haven't been doing tasks like that, but as soon as I get back home, I will be doing more PVM during Slayer, and I will be uh, making probably a lot more money. So that's 66 mil for 4 million Slayer XP might turn into more like 80 mil or 90 mil from 4 mil Slayer XP. So Slayer is absolute bank. Uh, you can make a ton of money from this. So hopefully this can encourage you guys to do some slaying yourself and uh, try to make some of that, you know, work towards a bill yourself from Slayer. I don't know if that's something that very many of you achieve, but you can always work on it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned to the next episode, which might be in a week or two, and uh, new PVM series starting tomorrow. Farewell.